An important and enjoyable part of the electric vehicle experience is learning about new functions and new driving styles that help optimize the potential of the vehicle. Recuperation refers to the use of kinetic energy during deceleration to put charge back into the battery. So why do we recuperate? The most important reason is to increase the range of the battery. Now, if this is your first drive, you might think, well, I'm not concerned about range. Do I really need to recuperate? The simple answer, no. But in many cases, the Q4 e-tron will automatically recuperate for you anyway, without even being noticeable. But learning to optimize this feature through the available controls will be useful for those occasional situations where some extra kilometers would come in handy. And as a bonus, it adds to the enjoyment of driving this amazing EV. So when should you use recuperation? In general, use recuperation when you know you're going to decelerate. Otherwise, for the best efficiency, you should let the vehicle coast when you lift off the accelerator. When Q4 e-tron is in the D or drive position and you lift off the accelerator, the vehicle switches to simple coasting mode. Switching the gear to the B or brake position will add some recuperation during that coasting period. Now another option is to use the shift paddles on the steering wheel to select from three different manual recuperation levels. The level the driver chooses is dependent on how much deceleration is needed. A more passive option is also available by selecting automatic recuperation in the MMI system. The system will use posted speed limits and traffic conditions as well as available distances to slow the vehicle and recuperate when possible. Finally, when using the actual brake pedal, the Q4 e-tron can brake electrically up to almost 0.3 Gs while recuperating. The hydraulic brakes only engage if greater deceleration is required. So in summary, the recuperation system enhances both the performance and driving fun of the Q4 e-tron.